today you'll get to see a Sega CD test. My other video showed how I actually shrunk these down to a size that will work on here. One of the first ones I did was Lords of Thunder, which is also on TurboGrafx CD, and it has one of the best soundtracks you could ever imagine in a video game, but obviously we're not going to have that soundtrack here, but the gameplay is still top notch. This actually reminds me quite a bit of Forgotten Worlds, which is a phenomenal game on Genesis and Mega Drive. Thank you. It has kind of a Greek Norse type theme to it. <sighs> Let's see what other Sega CD games I added here. Heart of the Alien is actually a sequel to one of my favorite games of all time, Out of This World, which was released in Europe under the name Another World. It actually plays quite a bit like a side scroll in Dragon's Lair, if you're familiar with that game. At the time, this game completely blew me away due to its cinematics. Ninja Gaiden was the game that previously blew me away with its cinematics. But this is the only way you can play the sequel to this. You can play the original out of this world on pretty much every format you can imagine. It's even been released on PS4 in the last year. It's on 3DS, PS4, Genesis, Super Nintendo. It's just like Dragon's Lair where if you make one mistake you have to do everything over again. You could spend hours upon hours trying to master the game and once you know how the game works you beat it in a literal amount of 15 minutes or less. I'm going to go to the original one on here real quick. The one that I'm more familiar with. Since I never owned a Sega CD I'm not as familiar with the sequel. And you hear the cat again. Again, one wrong move is the end of you in this game. I'll give you an example. These really cool cinematics when you die, like so. Now I get to redo that section again and I know what could happen if I screw up. And I've played this game multiple times over the years, so hopefully I'm able to remember some of the stuff I did to get through this. They actually released a game very similar to this on PlayStation 1 called Heart of Darkness, which was also one of my other favorite games. I'll try this one more time. It is a really cool action sequence once you get it down right, though. You can run and hop over these if you want to, but I tend to try to just take them out. Eh, I'm really sucking right now. Last try. Do 
a little bit better now. And you'll see why I'm doing what I'm doing in a minute. Again, you can play this on Genesis and Super Nintendo if you don't want to have to go through the hassle of trying to do the Sega CD one. Main reason to do it on Sega CD would be so you could see the sequel to it. But this game really kept my attention for hours on end when I originally bought it back in the 1990s. I just recently picked it up on PS4 and I really like how it is on there. There's why I want to get rid of the little slugs because they would have been in my way on the way back. And I forgot to jump. Well, you get the idea. It's a really phenomenal game, and give it a shot. Now, as an added bonus, I'm going to show you a CPS2 test. A lot of people have been having trouble running these games. But I have mine set up to run through May 2003. And these are some of the best games you can ever play. Alien vs Predator, Dungeons and Dragons Shadow over Mystera, Dungeons and Dragons Tower of Doom, and Marvel vs Capcom Clash of Superheroes. I'm gonna try Alien vs Predator. And you can see I'm loading the uh, MAME 2003 core in the bottom there. It actually points to 0 0.78 for the ROM set, just so it, you know. And you'll unlikely ever see this get released due to the licensing issues, which is pretty bad because it's a great game. Like how they have the Arnold Schwarzenegger style character to the top right. That's a sweet game. Another game I really love for the arcade that is a must play is Battletoads. And it's not even close to being as difficult as the Nintendo version. This is actually reasonably challenged and an extremely fun game. This is not a CPS2 game though. Just a standard arcade game. I actually bought the Rare Replay Collection on Xbox One, and this game comes with it. That's a great collection to get if you do have an Xbox One. Of course, it doesn't have Golden Eye, but you get what you get. But I put this in one of my top 20 arcade games that I've ever played. Plays not like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Since you can't play Ninja Baseball Batman, this is one of the closest games to that style. The ones that are, have been released on Super Nintendo and Nintendo are extremely difficult. This is probably the easiest one you can play out of the series. And that's a uh, Battletoads Double Dragon is also an easy game. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. There will be more to come.